Good day everyone! My name is Evan Candido and Garcia from BSCE 1C. And this video is for our subject Physics 124 or Physics for Engineers. So let's start. So our topic for today's lecture video is dynamics. Ang ating force in two dimensions. So ito yung ating sample problem. Example number 2. A 4.60 kg box is pulled across a smooth surface. The force acting on the box has magnitude of force 6.20 Newton and points in, the, in a direction 35 degrees above the horizontal. If the box is start at rest, how fast it is, is it moving after being pulled for 1.15 seconds? So, ito yung box. Ito yung box, hila-hila siya sa force na 6.2 Newton. So, ito yung ating uh, angle na 35 degrees above above the horizontal. So, ito yung x-axis natin. So, above the x-axis. So, ang, ang box natin ay may bigat na 4.6 kilograms. So, meron tayong um, direction to the right at pataas. Ito yung y natin at yung x. So, positive yung dalawang yan. So, nandito siya, fy at fx. Yung ating fy, ayun yung um, upward direction. Ito naman yung ating um, right direction. Papunta sa right. So, positive yan, dalawang yan. Meron siyang fy at fx. So, di na natin gagamitin yung FY kasi ang hinahanap natin ay yung final velocity na na-reach nung box pagtapos hilain sa loob ng time natin ay 1.15 seconds so yun nga, sinabi natin hindi na natin papakalaman yung ating F sub Y ang gagamitin na lang natin ay ating yung F sub X so to solve for F sub X is equal yan sa force cos angle so f sub x eh, substitute na natin yung force ang force natin ay yung 6.2 n cos angle natin ay 35 degrees so f sub x is equal to 6.2 newton cos 35 by calculating F sub x is equal to 5.08 newton. So hindi pa yan yung sagot. Yan, nakuha na natin yung F sub x. So to solve for the velocity, kailangan nating mahanap yung yung ating acceleration through uh, horizontal direction kasi above the horizontal sa ating x axis. So, to Ang formula na gagamitin natin ay gagamitan natin siya ng second law of motion, Newton's second law of motion. So, ang summation noon, summation of force F sub x is equal diyan sa Fx is equal to mass times acceleration. So, ang hinahanap natin ay yung acceleration so, ayun fx uh, over mass so, acceleration over mass yung hinahanap natin then, eh, substitute lang natin yung value ng fx ang ating fx ay yung nakuha natin na 5.08 newton over sa mass na ang ating mass Ang bigat ng box ay 4.6 kg. So, by calculating, ang sagot natin ay AX. AX is equal to 1.1 meter per second squared. Oh, bakit meter per second squared yung unit natin? Dahil um, 5.08 Newton is equivalent also to 5.08 kg times meter per second squared over yan sa 4.6 kilogram 
So, makakansel yung kilogram. Ang magagamit nating unit ay yung meter per second squared. So, nakuha na natin yung AX. Ang hahanapin naman natin ngayon ay yung uh, velocity ng box after hilahit sa 1.15 seconds. So, Vx yan. Bakit uh, V sub X lang? Kasi wala namang apekto yung um, ating Y component sa ating box dahil ang hila niya ay horizontal. So, sa X lang. So, V sub O X plus um, A X times time. Ito yung time natin. So, ang keyword dyan na hinahanap ang ating initial position or yung um, origin ay starts at address. So, ito, 0 na yan. So, V sub X is equal to ang ating AX which is 1.1 meter per second squared times yan sa ating time na 1.15 seconds. So, by calculating, V sub X is equal to 1.21 meter per seconds. So, bakit meter per seconds? Na-cancel yung seconds. So, makawala yung squared na yun. Ang unit na lang natin ay meter per seconds. So, yan ang ating um, velocity ng box pagkatapos niyang hilain sa time na 1.15 seconds.